Biotech stocks are once again lower after leading Wednesday's market sell-off. Joining me now is Andrew McDonald. He is the co-portfolio manager of BioShares Exchange Traded Funds. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Sue. Thanks so much for joining us today. Um, you created these biotech ETFs to limit risks. Um, right now, investors are jumping out of the biotech stocks as fast as they can, You know, even at a rate where the most seasoned traders are pretty surprised. Uh, do you think the sell-off is validated, or is this an overreaction? Well, the biotech sector ran up tremendously over the, the last quarter. I think the, uh, the RETFs were up, uh, in some cases, up over 30% within the last three months. So really an incredible run leading into this sell-off. So I think a little bit of a sell-off is healthy, but I think the long-term fundamentals of the sector are intact. So before we get to the fundamentals, let's talk about the technical um, perspective. And if history is any indication, uh, taking a look at the NASDAQ biotech index, the sell-off has further to go, potentially. Uh, so uh, the charts aren't pretty. How uh, much can investors weigh on fundamentals, especially in a sector that's so speculative? Well, that's the one-year chart. And if you look at the five-year chart, it's just an extension of that. It's just been going up and up and up. Really, over the last six years, the NASDAQ biotech index is up over 400%. So really, probably the best performing sector out of all the S&P sectors. But really, what you've got is the introduction of new drugs that are selling at record levels. So when you look at the large-cap biotechs, they're only trading at 19 times earnings right now with 25% projected revenue growth rate um, over the next year. So one can say, yeah, the chart over the last year looks like it's just accelerating and accelerating, but that's backed up by the fundamentals of these sales of these drugs. But the life cycle to see something to fruition takes so much longer, right, with, with these particular stocks. And it's risky. How, how do you know that a certain drug's going to be positive 5, 10, 12 years from now? It's a great question, and that's the reason why we started our two ETFs, where we separated companies by whether or not they've brought their drug to the market and they're in the BBP, they've got a product on the market and they're selling, driven by revenues and earnings, low beta ETF, the lowest beta of all the biotech ETFs. And then on the other side, you've got the BBC, the more speculative names, the companies that are developing the next generation drugs. You don't know if they're going to reach the market. Some of them will, many of them won't. Uh, own the basket. And let's just quickly take a look at some of your favorite stocks right now. ZS Pharma, uh, Gilead Sciences, Anacor Pharmaceuticals. Why do you like them? And quickly, what are your positions on them? Long term, short term? Sure. So ZS Pharma and Gilead I both own personally. And LifeSite Capital, our investment bank, was a co-manager on a recent ZS Pharma deal. This company has uh, got an amazing drug for the treatment of hyperkalemia. They've completed their phase three trials. They're going to be filing with the FDA. Uh, in the first half, and they'll get approval for it next year. The market cap is just over a billion, so on a relative valuation, it's actually quite cheap right now. In terms of Gilead, Gilead is the, one of the biggest biotech companies. They're actually trading at uh, around 10 times earnings, heavily discounted relative to their peers. They are selling this new hepatitis C drug, record sales, best, selling, uh, best drug launch of all time, period, curing the disease. But people, investors, are thinking about, well, what is sales going to look like five, ten years out when there's competition uh, and you've cured so many patients? Uh, but I think that's already factored in the stock and it's got room to grow. It's also got an 8% free cash flow yield, which is incredible, uh, really unheard of. In terms of Anacor, this is an interesting hybrid where they've got a product already on the market uh, for uh, a nail fungus. And it's doing quite well, actually. It's actually a billion dollar uh, category. Uh, but they've also got another product, and they're going to be reporting a phase three trial results for their topical eczema treatment in the third quarter. So it's both a revenue story as well as a binary event story. Those are the three names. Thanks so much for sharing your thoughts with us today. Andrew McDonald is the co portfolio manager of BioShares Exchange Traded Funds. And for The Street, I'm Susanna Lee.